Hello, I'm back. So, ito yung third voting method for the day. It's called plurality by elimination. So, when you say plurality by elimination, it's also known as yung instant run of voting or sequential run of voting. So, dito, binibase ang winner on sino yung plural so yung gusto ng karamihan as yung first choice vote and may eliminate yung candidate with the least number of first choice votes so here in our example ito yung number of voters which is 4000 7000 3000 and 6000 so yung 4000 na voters ang kanilang first choice ay si candidate letter D second choice si A third choice si B and fourth choice, the letter C. Tapos, for the 7,000 number of voters naman, ang pattern of preference nila is candidate C, candidate B, candidate D, candidate A. Same goes for yung 3,000 sa kanya A, B, C, B. Tapos yung sa 6,000 naman, which is B, D, C, A. So, paano ba natin malalaman kung sino dito yung mananalo based on plurality by elimination? So, first, medyo angat natin yung whiteboard. Yan. Based on dito sa table na to, titignan mo lang itong box na to. Itong row. Yung first choice votes. So, susulat mo dito yung A, B, C, and D. Diba? Yes. Okay. So, for candidate D, meron siyang 4,000 voters. So, dito na yan. For candidate C, first choice, nasa 7,000 siya. For candidate A, 3,000 voters ang pumili sa kanya. So, 3,000. And last is for candidate C, which is 6,000 voters naman. So, among these four, the one with the lowest is candidate A. So, siya ang first to be eliminated. Gets? So, dahil na-eliminate si letter A, um, buburahin mo na lahat ng options that has letter A. So, eto. Bye-bye. I'm sorry, letter A. Wala ka na. Tanggal na siya sa race. And dahil natanggal na lahat ng letter A, Lahat ng spaces in between, paangat sila. So, B and C. Magiging D, B, and C. Tapos, ito, aangat yung B, C, D. Magiging B, C, and D. Tapos, yung last row, which is yung fourth row, since nawalan ka na ng option, tatanggalin mo na siya. And that's yung first round of elimination sa plurality method. So, now that we have three um, candidates left, which is si candidate B, C, and D, same as yung first round, kailangan mo hanapin which one yung may pinaka mababang number of votes. So, tali natin ulit si B, C, and D. Okay, so for candidate B, we have 3,000 plus 6,000. Plus 6,000 equals merong 9,000 voters that prefer B as the first choice. For letter C, automatic, we have 7,000 voters. And for candidate D, we have 4,000. So now we have our results, yung 9,000, 7,000, and 4,000. And sabi ko nga, titignan nyo lang kung sino yung may pinaka-quanting votes, which is yung 4,000, which is his candidate D. Therefore, siya ang second to be eliminated. According to yung preference ng voters. So, uburahin na natin. Sorry, may sipon ako. Yun. So, like yung kay letter A, buburahin mo lahat ng letter D. So, 
Tapos, yung spaces na natira, iaangat mo lang siya. So, eto, magiging B ang first choice. Tapos, C. Tapos, yung C dito, aangat mo siya dito. Which is here. And dahil two choices left na lang siya, buburahin nga natin ang third row. Now, pagdating sa part na to, all you have to do is look for yung number of preferences ng first choice votes. So, again, B and C na lang ang hindi na. B has first choice 4,000. Tapos, C, 7,000. Uh, letter B, 3,000 ulit. And, preference ng 6,000 ay sa letter B. So, for letter C, we have 7,000 voters. And for candidate B, we have 4,000 plus 3,000 equals 7,000 plus 6,000 equals 13,000 voters. So, pag plurality by elimination, Yun nga, you eliminate yung choices mo little by little by the ones na first choice pinakamababa. And you will repeat the process until umabot sa point na dalawa na lang sila natitira na pagpipilian mo. And dito naman sa chart natin, obvious na si letter B ang panalo because meron siyang 13,000 accumulated votes. Whereas si letter C only has 7,000. So, dito, sa plurality by elimination, we can say na si candidate B ang panalo because he or she has 30,000 votes compared to letter C who only has 7,000. So, medyo mahaba yung process, pero I think madali lang siya intindihin. Tama ba? Yan. Let's do this. Gets ba? I'll do the last video, pero yun, medyo mahaba yun. So, stick around for the part 4. Yeah. Bye.